Welcome to another mobile repairing video. This is a very important lesson. I have three different mobile PCBs here and we are going to look into one particular component that a lot of technicians are not taking that particular component that serious. And because of that, they don't test that component when they are troubleshooting. So this component that I'm talking about is called display filter this display filter that i'm talking about you can identify the, the component differently depending on a mobile phone that you're working on the mobile phone brand and yeah the mobile phone model and all that that's why i have three mobile phones here so we have this should be a Huawei mobile pcb this uh, samsung mobile phone pcb and this is a google pixel mobile pcb i think this should be pixel 4 or xl for. so we are going to go under my microscope i will show you this component that i'm talking about show you how to identify this display filter show you how to test we'll start with the google pixel pcb take a look at the display filter this mobile pcb and then use our multimeter to test so the display filter, you can find the display filter around the screen connector in most cases, but there are times that it's around the CPU. Like I said, depending on the model phone that you are working on, you get. So let's see. So we are taking a look at the display filters here. You see these components these uh, display filters these components that you are seeing right here are not for the power supply of the display not at all these components are for the data lines of the display which means that the image i'm talking about the graphics that you see in your phone screen every phone screen have been passed through these components here so these are like package components because th th these are just like uh, two components that have been merged into one IC. Making sure this is clear. Okay, great. So if you take a look, if you take a look at the component, you will see that it has one, two, three, four, five, six, six pins, right? So you can see that we have five of them here and what i want you to understand that the these ones this this uh, one here and the other one these are the negative of this component so to confirm that we have our multimeter you place the red probe to the ground i just want you to know that these ones these sideways pins right here are the the negative you do that you can see it's beeping right you can see it's beeping if you check these other ones you will see that they are not beeping so that's what i'm talking about so for you to test this component and know if it's okay keep in mind this is that of the google pixel i will show you the different types so to know if this component particular one is okay you have to test them like this and it's supposed to be so these are just coils so let's say uh, low value resistors fuse you can call it whatever it is but it's supposed to be so this is how you test so if i'm troubleshooting this big problem in this mobile pcb i test i test i test and i'm making sure that all these pins you test them like this, not like this. You get. So I'm making sure that these pins are okay. All of them. If you test any of them and it's not going through, then you will have to change that one. B pin. So you don't have to bother about these ones right here. These ones. In the sideways, you don't have to bother about that. So that's how you test this. You test this to make sure that there is no open circuit here. And if there is any little crack, it cuts off the wire because it's a very tiny wire that is passing through this component. So you can also perform it like this to make sure that the connector is okay by setting your, your multimeter probe.
then go straight to the screen connector to make sure that there is no open circuit in the screen connector because if you have been watching my videos you will see that there are times that the connector might be looking okay here but there is no display but one side resolve that the connector it will display which means that there was an open circuit even though you will not even see using your microscope so let's go to the other pcb this is the one that we are testing let's go to the other pcb and you will see another type not that different this one is not that different but i will show you what i'm talking about okay if you take a look at this you will see and looking at this i think you know already how to test this from the other pcb that i just showed you and how i just explained so if you see you will see that this one has a lot of pins right and yet we still have the gnd the sideways gnd and you can clearly see on this mobile pcb that is connected to the gnd track which is this one right here so how do you test this you test it the same way that i showed you so that's how you test you do the same same thing here and you do the same thing here so it's exactly the same way just that the pins are different so the number doesn't really matter there are some some that you won't even see the gnd this sideways gnd you will just see these ones right here in which you will just have to test straightforward you get so did it just beep yeah that's okay so let's go to the one which is different but still the same thing let's take a look at this for a mobile pcb so this uh, this phone this is an old Huawei mobile PCB here. So if you take a look, you will see that we have the screen connector here. And if you come here, you will see that we have the data lines that are connected to these small components here. So these are resistors, very low value resistors. So you remember I called the other components, I said that you can call them package components, right? package resistors or whatever so the difference is that this one they have separated them so the other ones you can see if we you can get like one two three of them to make up that one uh, uh component that we were testing but here they are all independent they are all independent right here so which means that to test them you do the same thing all of them here are supposed to be but what I want you to understand that not every, especially in this type of mobile PCB, not every uh, component that you see around here will have to be like that. Because if, if you take a look at this, you will see that this is a capacitor. This one, I'm talking about this one. It doesn't have to be that way. And also, if you take a look at these ones, you will see that they are beeping. But in some cases, they won't have to be because there are no not low value resistors you get so that's why schematic diagram is very important to be sure that what you are testing it's supposed to give a high value or low value but these data lines here there are low value resistors and also you need to keep in mind that that when you are troubleshooting graphics problem right these eyes is here they're supposed to be beeping all of them you check the schematic diagram in which you need to know how to read schematic diagram you check check the ohm reading and you test if you test and it was supposed to be given a low ohm reading like right now that we are testing and we are getting a beep and you are not getting a beep then you will have to replace it just like that and you can just link a wire just like that very smooth and it will work without any issues that's because that's how it's supposed to work. These are low ohm uh, value resistors, right? Here, which means that if you just jump out a cable, everything will work very smooth. So, well, if you want to learn everything, how to read schematic diagram, like I said, it's very important. That's uh, my number right there. 
that's my number right there on the screen you can send me a message on whatsapp to get my basic level course or the professional level course you can get the courses right now with a 60 percent discount which is very good that's a huge discount for people who really want to learn if you really want to learn everything then you should not, should not be com complaining about that and that yeah maybe the price is not good and all that so that's basically how you identify and test this why well, i'm going to upload another video yeah more videos on how you can troubleshoot display problem and other problems so this is not all about troubleshooting display fault but i wanted to focus on these particular components so that you will know about them because a lot of technicians are skipping this particular component so well i'm saying it's my right here you can follow for more videos thank you and see you soon